Happy birthday, honey. I got you something a little bit different this year. I um, really hope you like it, but uh, it's, it's a first for me. Here you go. This is Sydney, Gigant's wife. And this is the custom keyboard I made for her. But wait, how do we get here? Let's rewind 20 days back. Back to when her husband, Garnt, contacted me. Hey man, how are you doing? Yo, doing pretty well. It's out of the blue. Well, what's up? First of all, this is a secret between us. I mean, I saw what you did with my keyboard, so I was hoping you could help me build a custom keyboard for Sydney. Her birthday's coming up, and it's in about four to five months. I hope that's enough of a timescale we can work with, but I think it would be really cool to give her a custom keyboard as a present. Sydney's birthday was just around the corner, so we only had 30 days to build this keyboard. Uh, sounds doable. What are the requirements of the keyboard? Okay, so I'll be honest, I don't know much about what goes into making a custom keyboard. I was kind of hoping that we could work together to maybe try and find something that is Harvest Moon themed. It was one of Sydney's childhood games growing up, so she has a big personal attachment to it. What? kind of material do you want the keyboard to be? Maybe using the kind of logo as a base, something similar to that aesthetic. So maybe a wooden keyboard would be, is that something that you could do? Don't worry, I'm really good with woodwork. I promise you, I'll deliver. And what you're about to see next is why you should never promise something you can't deliver. Right after this sponsor break. Do you suck at cooking? What? No. Okay, maybe a little bit. If that is you, today's sponsor got you covered. Factor 75 is a meal service that provides you healthy, ready-to-eat meals delivered to your doorstep at your convenience. Are you single, living alone, untalented at cooking, and have no partner to cook for you? Why are you looking at me? Well, you don't have to deal with that anymore. With an extensive menu of over 35 gourmet meals just for this week alone, you know you're not gonna have to repeat that same old depressing chicken breast that you have meal prepped for the week. If you're struggling with preparing weight loss meals, or want a full keto meal but don't want to go through the hassle of researching what to buy, then let Factor do it for you by choosing your meal plan and what your main goal is. And at this point, is there really a point ordering takeout anymore? Dude, gourmet meals ready in three minutes. If you think this is for you, then head over to go.factor.com and use my code POG. Wait, what? <laughs> POG Squashy? Full 50 for 50% off your first box. Wait, why did you choose Pong? All right, thanks Factor75, and let's get back to the video. Before starting the build, I asked Garn to scout out what Sydney is currently using, so we know what we're dealing with. I'll just give you like a quick tour of like her previous keyboard, which was disgusting. It is, it is filthy. Look, look at this. Look at this. What have you done, Sydney? Oh my God, it's filthy. Oh. So yeah, she definitely needs a new keyboard because uh, this is a Wuhan. So Sydney is currently using this keyboard. Not to shame you or anything, Sydney, but... Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna build the keyboard now. Okay, but remember about five seconds ago when I said, I'm really good with woodwork? I'm really good with woodwork. I have no idea how to work with wood. Okay, I've made wooden keyboards in the past, but if you've ever seen them, they kind of look like this, and they're pretty much just memes at this point. I did, however, try banging some wood together, which didn't really do anything, except make a fire. Oh! At this point, I was kind of biting off more than I could chew. I'm not a JoJo fan, I can't just tell someone I'm good with wood. I even went so far as to drop by at a small local carpentry workshop to ask if they could cut custom keyboards. Are you guys able to cut this into a custom wooden keyboard? Okay, for this, I'm... Not too sure. Uh, let me check with my colleague first. Okay. Yeah. And they said no. No custom cutting. Yes. So, no. Yeah. So I spent the rest of the day contemplating on what I should be doing. I was really running out of options. So I sat down and had a moment with myself. <sighs> you know, dude, it's all right. Wait, wh who are you? The trees are green. The floor is gray. Okay. But... Some things in life, are just not meant to be, to be, to be, to be, to be, to be, to be. Toby! I'm Brian, by the way. No, Toby from Barra Creative. Hello? This is Toby. He is an expert in woodworking, and he has almost five years of experience with making wooden keyboards. Now, you may have seen his keyboards before, like the KL90, and he's most probably the perfect man for this job. Hey, Toby, uh, are you free for a keyboard next week? I kind of need it urgently for Sydney and- uh, Next really week? Are you insane? Let's do it.
the keyboard has arrived. I haven't actually opened the keyboard yet, so this is gonna be my first time and you guys' first time seeing the keyboard. So let's open it. Oh my god. This case is so nice. I, I think I'm funny. <laughs> Whoa. I'm kind of speechless. Oh my god, it looks so good. Damn, that looks good. And it even has the engravings, dude. Wow. Okay, you know what, Toby? You did a fantastic job with this keyboard. But I'm gonna be taking it over from here and we're gonna be building this keyboard to the max. We're gonna be stunning the world. We're gonna be stunning Sydney and most likely, probably not build this in time. But building a keyboard is boring. And I'm not gonna make you guys watch it. My audience, you know, 69% non-subscribers, 20% subscribers and 9% idiots. So I assembled a team of filmmakers consisting of me, me and me to film a cool, sick ass video. So with that, here is the final build. So that is Sydney's keyboard assembled. For those of you guys that are interested in the parts, here's the list of parts. And all that's left to do is to ship the keyboard to Garn. But while the package is being delivered, I did a birthday wish for Sydney because she might be watching this video, so I hope you enjoy it. Happy birthday! Yeah, that's all I got. I'm also really late to this, it's like June now. Birthday was in April? Oof, kinda late. All right, I'm about to give Sydney her present. I uh, didn't have time to wrap it, but really hope she likes it. Honey, happy birthday, honey. I got you something a little bit different this year. Um, I really hope you like it, but uh, it's it's a first for me. Here you go. You're so nervous, Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, it's in a nice little box too. Honey, a keyboard? Yeah. Is it homemade? <laughs> yes, yeah, homemade. <laughs> How's it feel? It's so good on my skin. It's got the Harvest Moon cow. Yeah. I worked with a designer to help design a Harvest Moon keyboard and it's got your it's got your name there as well. Sydney, yeah. Mm, I love it, honey beam. Right. Okay, I'm gonna blow this next part because I don't know whether I can show it. You'll probably have to use your own imagination. And yeah, with that, that was the Sydney project. By the way, how much is the keyboard? Oh, the keyboard's uh, $600. What? Oh yeah, be sure to check out me building Garn's keyboard. It's pretty cool too. $3,000 keyboard. Insane. Also, you click this to subscribe if you didn't know. It's re really cool. Please.